Today's video is going to be my AM skincare routine. So I thought I would show you guys what I do in the morning and I'm going to do a follow-up video on obviously what I do in the evening before I get ready for bed. So today, let me first go through some things about me. So if you are new to my channel, you know where I'm coming from. I am filming in front of a window. I am, do not have any kind of false light on. I wanted you guys to get a true picture of what my skin looks like. I have no makeup on right now except for some mascara. I filled in my eyebrows a bit and I have some lipstick on, but that's it. The only thing I have on my face is my skincare. I do not have perfect skin, so please do not think I'm telling you, oh, my skin is perfect. I know it's not, but it is probably the best case scenario for somebody who has rosacea, extremely dry skin, and I'm in my midlife. Also, I am no dermatologist or esthetician. I have no education except what I have read and watched and what I have asked questions about. You guys need to do your own research, talk to your own physician, and figure out what's perfect for you. But these are the things that I use. Step one is really, literally just look at your face, assess your face. Don't start splashing water on it immediately because as soon as you add moisture to your face, it will disguise any issues that you have. Do you have blemishes? Do you have some dry patches? And then you'll know how to hone in your routine for that morning. Step two is to cleanse. The night before, I put on some moisturizer, I put on some skincare that I will go to in my next routine that I tell you guys, my next video. But I need to get that off my face. Now that stuff has done its job and I need to get it off and refresh my face, so I'm going to cleanse. The number one cleanser I use is the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. I've told you guys about this. I think it's one of the best cleansers. I use this only in the morning. I use a different one in the evening. So let me tell you guys a little bit about this. It is $14.56 for eight ounces, and I get mine on Amazon, or you can get it anywhere, honestly. I'm gonna give you some Amazon links below because that's the easiest thing for me to do. But honestly, you can get this in any drugstore, Target, Walmart, anywhere. So don't think you have to get this on Amazon only. So the thing I like about this, it is gentle and it is hydrating. It will not dry my skin out. So it says it cleanses, hydrates, and helps restore the protective skin barrier. That does that with three essential ceramides and hyaluronic acid. And I'm gonna go into what those two things are when I get to another product that I use. But this is what I use to cleanse off all the stuff off my face. Very simple. Step three is to treat my face. So this is where I put the things on my face that are going to help protect it, mo not moisturize it, well some of it does, but protect it and do some skincare things and corrective things while I go throughout my day. The first thing I use is the May Love Glow Maker. It is the antioxidant serum, looks like that. And I will tell you right now, this is relatively new to my routine. I've used it for a few weeks and I've had pretty good results with it. So let me tell you what it is, first of all. I buy it off of their website, so Maylove, M-A-E-L-O-V-E. -E. It is used only in the morning, you use it once a day. It is $27.95 for 1.7 ounces. Now, it is on the expensive side, but it's not, I don't think it's astronomical, and you don't use that much each day, so it should last me a good amount of time. So this is what their website says. It is a complete face serum that gives you hydrated and brightened skin all day long. It has vitamin C, 15% aliscorbic acid, vitamin E, and ferulic acid for superior antioxidant protection. Hyaluronic acid for long-lasting hydration, and you will see that throughout my skincare routine because of my dry skin. Anything with hyaluronic acid, I'm interested in. And a proprietary blend of, oh my goodness, a whole bunch of things for extra nourishment and easy makeup application. So in other words, this goes, that's why it goes in the morning and not the evening. So I will show you guys, I did not get a picture of a video of me using this, but you can see it's very liquidy. I hope that's zeroing in. I think that's zeroing in on, there we go. It's very liquidy. It just rubs onto my face really easily and you don't use a lot, probably three or four drops. 
and that's enough. And I do use it on my chest area too. Anything, pretty much anything I use here, I bring down here just to even out everything. <laughs> the next thing I use after the Glow Maker is the Timeless Coenzyme Q10 Serum. And it looks like this. I've told you guys about this already, but let me give you a little bit of details about it. It is $18.80 on Amazon, but on the Timeless website, it's $25.25. This says it is, a serum provides cells with energy to build collagen and elastin. It is found in abundance in young skin, but the amount decreases as we get older. Using the Q10 will help skin refresh by energizing your skin cells. Lack of collagen in the skin creates conditions for wrinkling and overhaul, overall rough skin texture. And they use a 2% concentration for maximum results. So I do believe I have noticed a smoothness to my skin because of this. And that's why I keep using it. I do get mine on Amazon because it is cheaper. If you only use two, uh, three or four drops, it's very, it just spreads so easily. There's no fragrance to it that I have detected. So I've really enjoyed this. I have, you guys know, a sensitive skin with the rosacea, you just have sensitive skin and everything can exacerbate that. And I've noticed no issues with it. So I'm going to continue using that. And I use that morning and night. So you'll see it in my PM routine as well. The next part of treating is Rosa Care from Procure. This is made specifically for people with rosacea. I got mine off of Amazon. It is $14.99 for two ounces. So Procure Rosa Care Gel Powerful Lightweight Hydrogel contains hyaluronic acid again, allotoin, vitamin E, cucumber extract, and licorice root extract for superior moisturizing and cool soothing relief to reddened skin. Chromium color correcting helps even out skin's appearance without masking effect. So if you guys can see, it's got a green tint to it, which will help mask redness. Now I will just tell you right now, I don't believe the green does anything because it pretty much rubs in to a clear, to almost clear, it rubs right into your skin. So I don't think it really does that. Maybe over the long term it does, but I haven't really noticed a difference in redness because of using this. I think my redness reduction is from using my whole routine. I don't consider it my moisturizer though, even though it says it's that, I don't think it's enough moisture for my dry skin. So I will do another moisturizer. So step four would be to moisturize. So the first thing I use, I have already determined, remember I showed you guys, I will assess my face and I will see where I have any dry patches. If I'm really not struggling with dry patches, so in the summer, like we are in now, I don't struggle as much unless I've been into the, into the sun a little too much or a windy day where it's dried out my skin a little bit more or something like that. But I will just see, because I get some dry patches in certain areas of my skin. When that happens, I will use this. This is called the CeraVe Skin Renewing Gel Oil. And it looks like that. And I got get mine off of Amazon, but you can find this in other places as well, just like any other CeraVe product. So on Amazon, it is $18.46 for 1.8 ounces. So this instantly improves skin radiance. This is what it says. It can be used on its own or with a moisturizer for extra hydration, and I do use it with a moisturizer. It has Ceraplex, which is a unique blend of five ceramides. Now ceramides, so you guys know, is, an es is essential for healthy skin. Ceramides help restore and maintain the skin's natural barrier. So that's why they're great. A most CeraVe products have ceramides in them. So this one has five different ones. It has MVE technology, which helps continually re release moisturizer ingredients throughout 24 hours. It's non-comedogenic, so it's not gonna clog your pores. It's non-irritating and it's fragrance-free. So that's why I use it. Now, I don't use this every day. I use it when I have those dry patches. So after that, I use the CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. Now, yes, I know, I've told you guys I'm doing my AM skincare routine, but I'm using this PM. They have an AM version of this. The only difference between the two is that it has SPF in it. 
I do not like this underneath makeup. So now there are days I don't wear a, a foundation or something. I still don't like it. I just don't like how it feels. I don't know. So I use the PM and then I use an SPF. We'll, we'll get to that in a second. So why do I like this? First of all, it's lightweight. It is absolutely affordable. So it is $15.99 for three ounces at Target. But if you buy it on Amazon in a two pack, it's $12.38 at the time of me filming this, of course. So I get mine on Amazon usually, unless I'm just, just ran out and I don't have a refill, then I'll get it someplace else. So I use this, this is my best daytime moisturizer. I use something different for the evening. It has that MVE technology, it has the ceramides, it has the hyaluronic acid, it has an added ingredient called niacinamide. This helps repair a compromised skin burial barrier while improving the appearance of skin. So again, it's just, it's kind of like the ceramides that helps with the skin barrier. Niacinamide does the same thing, but obviously in a different way. And again, this is non-comedogenic, hypoallergenic, oil-free, fragrance-free, and non-irritating. So now my skin is cleansed, it is treated, and it is moisturized. The last step is for me to protect it. So since this is my AM skincare routine, I need to put some SPF. Hands down, the number one thing that I started doing, I tell you, before I started taking care of my skin, I never used SPF, unless I was going to a day at the beach, or is gonna be out in the sun all day and I knew that because I knew my nose would get red. I don't know, I have fried my face. I don't, even, I don't even care to tell you how many times because as you girls know, if you are in your mid 50s, we just didn't do that in the 80s. We fried our skin with the sun because we were sun worshipers and that was not good. And we're reaping the benefits, not so beneficial, of this practice. So now I do not go out of my house without putting SPF on. The problem is, is there are many SPFs that will irritate. Literally, it feels like my face is burning. So I have to be very careful what SPFs I put on my face. I don't like a white cast and it needs to work underneath makeup if I choose to put foundation on that day. So. I'm asking it to do a lot. There are two that I have found that I'm really enjoying. The first one is called Elta MD. I got mine off of Amazon again. And this is SPF 50. It is water resistant. It is 33, let me make sure. Yep, $33 for 1.7 ounces. So that's what this is. This is almost gone. Oh, all right, I brought you guys closer so you could see. This one I'm gonna put on the left, as you guys can see, it is, I'm gonna only do a little bit just because I'm putting on in half my skin face. So it's obviously white, but it is very light and it gives no white cast. I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder, so <laughs> this is hard. Make sure I'm doing this correctly. So. I enjoy this, this does not pill underneath my makeup, it's moisturizing, I enjoy it. The other one I use is Olay, and this is SPF 30. This is $23.76 for a two pack, which equals five ounces. So this is a lot less money than the Elta MD. So this one is a little bit thicker, hopefully you guys are seeing that and not my face, okay. It's a little bit thicker than the Elta MD. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's a lot. I believe this gives a little bit of a light white cast, but it's not bad. And it does rub in pretty well. So I've been enjoying this so far, so good as far as, again, it's very hard for me to see. Now I will always, you're not seeing it because I'm too close right now, but I always put it down onto my decollege so that that is, because that's often if I'm wearing a V-neck, it's exposed to the sun. Okay, so my face is kind of sticky right now. It needs to dry down. Hopefully I have no white patches because I literally can't see myself. So let me <laughs> make sure. <laughs> okay, so that is my protecting. now. Ideally, this should all have 
you know, at least a minute in between each application. It, you know, after I start doing my treatments, when I start doing the step three, where I start treating my face with the serums, ideally having a minute in between is great, but I'm sorry. Most of the time I do not have time. And so it just all goes on fast. But in an ideal world, if I'm ready early, hardly ever, <laughs> I um, will give it time in between. The number one thing I do give time, I always give time for this to really absorb before I go in with a primer, or if I choose not to wear a primer that day, a foundation, but I usually wear a primer. Do your future skin a huge favor and make sure that you put an SPF underneath and then your foundation, and then you're just getting an added benefit from the SPF in that foundation. So one of the other game changers that I do believe has really helped me that I really couldn't show you because I'm not showing you me getting out of the shower. Not happening. I do no skincare in the shower itself, like as far as exfoliating or anything like that. I don't believe that's the great place to do it. I think you can overdo things when you're in the shower. So I make sure I'm focused on what I'm doing, not doing it in the shower, doing it fast, getting it through it, and your skin is already really, and sometimes hot, but um, very moisturized, and you, it just masks what you're doing. So I, all skincare happens outside of the shower for me. When I step out of the shower, I will pat dry my face, and I will immediately put on a moisturizer. So I would, I have this right next to my, the, the CeraVe PM. I have this right next to my shower, and I will pat dry my face and I will immediately take a little dollop and put that all over my face. That is, I think, one of the game changers because what happens is, and I learned this from Dr. Dre, when you have your face all wet and then you let it dry and dry, 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 what happens is, is that evaporation of the water also takes the moisture out of your skin and it's called transepidermal water loss. And so what you want to do is keep that on your face and keep that moisture on, you know, inside to your skin and you want to stop it. And that's what the moisturizer does. So I immediately do that. And then I don't have to feel rushed. And you guys know this feeling if you have dry skin, especially you will get out of the shower and you feel that tightness happening and you're like, oh, I need to get something on my face. Well, that's what I used to always feel. And my face would just get red and inflamed. And I looked like somebody had slapped me across the face. And a lot of that was my rosacea as well. So this procedure of me putting this on, that has been a game changer. And then I just go out throughout the rest of my routine. Again, I know this took a while for me to tell you, but that's just because I had a lot to tell you. This is a five minute routine. Let me know if you guys have any questions, if there's any comments or advice, I will take it all. I'd love to hear what works for you guys and game changers that have worked for you. I will see you guys in the next video, which will be my PM routine. God bless.